A very warm welcome to all my dear teachers and to my curious friends. I am Tavishi Matangi from Grade 5C. Welcome to our PYP Exhibition 2020 on Climate Change. The PYP Exhibition represents a significant event in the lives of the PYP students. This experience gives us an opportunity to exhibit the learner profiles, concept to learning, and approaches to learning skills. Here are the key concepts. This year, the theme for our exhibition is Sharing the Planet. The benefits of choosing this theme is 1. Eco-friendly, 2. Really attractive, and 3. A helpful development for understanding better. Central Idea The imbalances in nature caused due to human activities results in climate change globally. Then, of course, it's the lines of inquiry. First one is climate change through the ears, which relates to the key concept, farm and causation. Second one, initiatives taken up by organizations to reverse climate change, which relates to the key concept, function and responsibility. And third one, lastly, my contribution towards developing a sustainable world, which relates to the concept, change. Finally, the resources used. First one is Ms. Jarusha and Ms. Leandra. They gave a speech to, to teach us more about climate change. Second, a field trip. Third, a few books from what, the company Watts. Four, several websites to come connect to climate change. Hope this introduction will give you a better understanding throughout the whole presentation. Thank you. Hello, my name is Neha from Grade 5 B, and I'm going to tell you about our first line of inquiry, which is climate change through the years. I will tell you about our investigations and how they are connected to our central idea. You will get further information in presentations by my peers. The first investigation made by us were our timelines. We chose different countries and states such as India, Australia, and some more. We researched about how climate change had increased or decreased in the past few years. The timelines are connected to the central idea because we researched about the different countries' imbalance in nature. The next investigation we made was our field trip to Agra and Belindur Lake. We did ATN, Approaches to Learning Reports. We observed the differences and similarities between the two lakes. This is connected to our central idea because each lake was different and each lake had its own imbalance. Our last and final investigation were our interviews. We thought of different questions and asked them to people such as parents, neighbors, friends, and families. This is connected to the central idea because we were trying to get input from other people's point of view on human activities that harm our planet. Thank you. Climate change. What is climate change? Climate change refers to the rise in average temperatures on Earth. Climate change is also called global warming. There are natural fluctuations in the climate, but scientists say temperatures are now rising faster than at many other times. Barack Obama said, we are the first generation to feel the sting of climate change and the last generation that can do something about it. Types of climate change. There are many types of climate change, but there are five main types. The five types of climate change are tropical, dry, temperate, continental and polar. 
These five types can be further divided into a secondary classification, which includes rainforest, monsoon, tropical savanna, humid, subtropical, humid, continental, oceanic climate, Mediterranean climate, desert, subarctic climate, tundra, and polar ice cap. Causes of climate change. There are two main causes of climate change. Climate change due to natural causes and climate change due to human activities. The natural causes are volcanoes and ocean currents. When a volcano erupts, it throws out a large volume of sulfur dioxide, water vapor, dust and ash into the atmosphere. Although the volcanic activity may last only a few days, the large volumes of gas and ash can influence climatic patterns for years. The oceans are a main component of the climate system. They cover about 71% of the earth and absorb about twice as much of the sun's radiation as the atmosphere or the land surface. Winds push horizontally against the sea surface and drive ocean current patterns. Certain parts of the world are influenced by ocean currents more than the others. Human causes. The industrial revolution, greenhouse gases and their sources. The industrial revolution in the 19th century saw the large scale use of fossil fuels for industrial activities. Carbon dioxide is undoubtedly the most important greenhouse gas in the atmosphere. Changes in the land use pattern deforestation, land clearing, agriculture and other activities have all led to a rise in the emission of carbon dioxide. Effects of climate change. Climate change causes a variety of physical impacts on the climate system. The physical impacts of climate change foremost include globally rising <coughs> temperatures of the low atmosphere, the land and Oceans. The direct impacts of climate change are rising maximum and minimum temperatures, shrink shrinking glaciers, and rising ocean temperatures. The indirect impacts of climate change are health risks due to heat waves, ocean acidification due to an increase by carbonate as a consequence for increased CO2 levels. Greenhouse effect. The greenhouse effect is basically the process where the sun's heat reaches the earth. Some of the heat gets reflected back into space, whereas some of the heat stays in the earth's atmosphere. And this heat warms the earth. There are many greenhouse gases. Carbon dioxide, methane and nitrous oxide. How global warming affects India? Most of India, about 70%, runs on farming as their income. And due to the severe changes in the climate, farming become hard. And if people can't farm, then they won't have enough money for providing their family. This is also a problem we have to face. How pollution ruins our health. One third of deaths from stroke, lung cancer and heart disease are due to air pollution. Microscopic pollutants in the air can slip past our body's defenses, penetrating deep into our respiratory and circulatory system, damaging our lungs, heart and brain. Dr. Maria Nera, who director of public health, said the true cost of climate change is felt in our hospitals and in our lungs. Facts on climate change 408 parts per million. The concentration of carbon dioxide in our atmosphere as of 2018 is the highest it has been in 3 million years. Due to COVID-19 lockdown, the ozone layer has started to heal itself. 
save nature it's cheaper in the maldives building a sea wall for coastal protection cost about 2.2 billion us dollars even after 10 years of maintenance cost it is still four times cheaper to preserve the natural reef fight climate change naturally natural climate change solutions like ending deforestation and restoring degraded forests could at global level create 80 million jobs bring down 1 billion people out of poverty and add us dollars 2.3 million in productive growth what can we do to stop climate change decarbonize your travel transport's biggest source of emissions are planes then then cars for a family of four a return trip from the uk to australia emits 12 times more carbon than running a car for an entire year talk about it cutting carbon won't signal the climate and emergency if no one knows you are doing it tell your friends relatives and others about climate change and follow these steps wherever you go buy less stuff reduce reuse and recycle consume less and wisely buy less junk and buy local thank you Hello. Welcome to my one and only timeline around the world. First up, we are starting off with 1997 from India. In April 1997, the average temperature in Bangalore would hover around 26 degrees Celsius with a range of 21 to 32 degrees Celsius. 2019 in India. The year 2019 was one of the extremes. Can you believe it? Heat, cold, rain and cyclones for India killing a total of 1562 people. Rain and flood alone claimed 849 lives. With Bihar being the worst affected state due to unprecedented weather events experienced due during all the seasons last year. Next 2003 to 2011 Gujarat During these years Gujarat government and people were more occupied with the recovery efforts from earthquake of 2001 It affected climate environment and people migration due to that In year 2006 Surat city of Gujarat witnessed biggest flood of the state till date After that monsoon seasons complications started in Gujarat and became more unpredictable With hotter weather, shorter monsoon and heavy rainfall rises heavy risk of climate change every year in Gujarat. 1990 in Gujarat. The climate of Gujarat involves diverse conditions. The plains of Gujarat are very dry and hot in summer and cold and dry in winter. Summer is milder in the hilly regions and the coast. The average daytime temperature during the winter is on is around 12 celsius 54 fahrenheit with 100% sunny days and clear nights during the summer's daytime temperature is is around 49 celsius 120 fahrenheit and at night no lower than 30 celsius 86 fahrenheit the monsoon seasons last from lasts from june to september 2009 to 2013 Australia 2009 the black saturday bushfires in victoria australia are among the worst so far burning 500 buildings and 2029 homes 2013 the csiro report states that australia will experience extreme heat and fire seasons 
Globally, the hottest year was 2016. The average global temperature around land and ocean surface areas for 2016 was 0 0.94 Celsius, 1.69 Fahrenheit, above the century average of 13.9 Celsius, 57.0 Fahrenheit, suppressing the previous record warmth of 2015 by 0 0.4 Celsius and 0 0.7 Fahrenheit. Here's a graph that has the years recorded which were hottest also. As you can see, the bar of 2016 is the most highest. The average, the average or roughly recorded temperature is 2.25 Fahrenheit over here. Facts time! It's the fun time too. Antarctic. White ice reflects light and heat, but dark land or ocean colors absorb light and heat fast. Hope that was interesting and thank you. Hi on, I am Devancho from Grade 5B and today I am going to talk about my field trip experience. Heal the world. Make it a better place. For you and for me. And the entire human race. There are people dying. You cared enough for the living. Make it a better place for you and for me. What a beautiful song by Michael Jackson. And in some way these lyrics captured my mind. The morning when we started our field trip to famous lakes of Bengaluru, Belindu and Agra Lake. The first lake we visited was Belindu Lake. The thoughts about the lake were so many during my journey. As soon as I saw famous largest lake of our city, the first word I uttered was, oh my god, so dirty. This lake once famous for its beauty, but now it's the complete opposite. The lake is situated in southeast part of Bengaluru. It was fully polluted and filled with garbage. There was also a pipeline going in to the lake, throwing sewage and trash inside the water. I felt sad for the people living around and the birds who had chance to adapt to the polluted water. The smell of the water was so bad that we could not go near the lake. With a gloomy heart and disappointment, we left for our next destination. That was Agra Lake, located in Agra, HSR Layer, Bengaluru. When we saw Agra Lake, I thought there is still something left without pollution. The lake was clear and not polluted like Belindu Lake. It was so beautiful. The lake was renovated and well maintained. We realized that if we want to try, we can do many things to make our climate better. We saw walking and jogging tracks around. We also saw at least 70 types of different birds flying over the lake. It was peaceful and good experience. After witnessing both the lakes, we started comparing. The major similarity is they are both located in Bengaluru.
The Balloon the Lake is an example of how we human don't bother for nature and for the climate. We act selfishly against it. At the same time, the Agda Lake is an example of what can be done to sustain a climate and make it a better place for tomorrow. It's time for change. We should not wait for a dangerous virus like Corona to come and heal our earth only during a lockdown. It's our responsibility. It's our plan to make it a better place for you and for me. Together we can and we will make a difference. These are some memorable moments of our field trip. It was pleasure sharing my field trip experience with you all. I will always remember this best moment of our journey on climate change exhibition. Thank you so much. Hello. Now I am going to tell you about our second line of inquiry. Our second line of inquiry is initiatives taken by organizations and people who work towards climate change. Now I will tell you about our second line of inquiry. Our second line of inquiry is organizations and people that work towards climate change. As we learned in our first line of inquiry, climate change has increased immensely, so we really must redeem ourselves. Now, we are going to look into what people are already doing to help stop climate change. First, we learned what the governments are doing to contribute towards climate change. We compared the local, national and global government's actions towards climate change. We investigated the similarities and differences using Venn diagrams, PPTs and many more. This is connected to our central idea because it is what we are doing to help stop the human activities that harm our planet. Th then, we had the pleasure of having a guest speaker. The guest speakers introduced to us was Ms. Jerusha and Ms. Leandra. They are two environmentalists that contribute towards climate change. We learned about other people who help the planet, ways we can help the planet, and much more which you will find out in a further presentation. This investigation is connected to our central idea because the guest speakers are trying to end climatic changes globally. Lastly, we learned about people who are co contributing towards climate change, such as Greta Thunberg, Ashton Stark, and many such. This is connected to the central idea because these people are fighting to solve the imbalance in nature. Thank you. Hello, now I am going to tell you about the government's actions on climate change. The governments I'm going to tell you about is the local, national, and global governments. I'm doing this using a Venn diagram. Local government. The local government I'm talking about is the government of Karnataka. They hire agencies to monitor the air quality. They are hiring groups of people to make sure that the air is not becoming too polluted. Then, they try to switch to a green economy, which means they are trying to plant more trees and trying to stop cutting down and burning plants. They also try to transition towards a climate resilient development. This means they are trying to make a development that adapts to climate change. 
the national government the national government is that i'm talking about is the national government of india india came up with a plan which is called the national action plan on climate change napcc they made plans such as the national water mission national mission for sustainable agriculture and national mission for a green india they are trying to help stop different forms and types of climate change global government the global governments work towards achieving climate neutrality globally they are trying to balance out climate change completely many countries take protocols such as the montreal protocol and the kyoto protocol these are agreements taken by many different countries to help stop climate change did you know the montreal protocol actually helped heal the ozone layer in the past few years it is a great achievement similarities the similarities between the local and national government is that they are working towards getting better and fresher air the similarities between the local and global government is they are both trying to adapt to climate change instead of solving it the similarities between the national and global governments is they are working to balance climate change instead of completely wiping it out thank you Hello everybody today i'm going to talk to you about actions taken by ngos and people the full form of ngo is non governmental organization organizations that are independent of government involvement are called ngos greater thunberg when greater thunberg was small she started a strike in sweden to draw attention towards climate change mr beast youtuber star mr beast has launched a campaign in october in order to raise money and plant 20 million trees in honor of reaching 20 million subscribers on the video sharing platform indian youth network the indian youth climate network is an organization which helps reduce climate change by giving facts and resolutions for climate change plant a tree today foundation Plant a Tree Today Foundation helps to stop climate change and deforestation by planting a tree every day. Hello, my name is Neha from Grade Five B, and I'm going to talk to you about our guest speakers. The guest speakers introduced to us was Miss Leandra and Miss Jerusha, two environmentalists. Let's go into the details of what my climate change group learned and reflected. Our learning. We learned about the people who are responsible for climate change. This includes the government, retailers, producers and consumers. We learned about the people who are affected, which is the communities and societies. We learned about the result of climate change and also about light pollution, which is basically electricity wastage. This is something we had never heard of before. Let's move on to the biggest success we made. Our biggest success was that we were motivated towards being responsible for our actions all the time that we can. Inspirations can come anywhere. We were inspired by the way Miss Jerusha contributed against climate change even in her childhood. Challenges are an important part of life. The most challenging thing we faced was we broke our bad habits such as wasting one-sided papers and wasting food. Here are some of the reasons my group is proud of themselves. We learn to apply our learning when we carry out our ambition in our future. Now we don't use any more plastic because we were motivated to stop it. 
We asked many questions and understood the best we could. We are also showing lots of interest in our topic and are working very hard. Here are some good choices we made. We decided to work towards our goal with responsibility. We will follow our guest speaker's examples. The action we will take against climate change is, we will be more environment friendly. We will manage our water better. We will stop throwing plastic and will spread our knowledge of climate change and persuade others to join us too. We hope that you now, I will tell you about our third line of inquiry, which is my contribution towards developing a sustainable planet. As we learned in our second line of inquiry, we too have to help save our planet. Let's go into the details. First, we researched about people who contribute towards climate change and who we were inspired by. This includes people such as Burke Bayhead, Ashton Stark, and many such. This is connected to the central idea because we had to talk about how these people inspired us to help stop the human activities that harm our planet. Next, we wrote about how we and our family contributes towards climate change at home. This is connected to our central idea because we were writing down what we were doing to neutralize the imbalance in nature. Then, we brainstormed on how we would apply our climate change learning in our future job or business. This is connected to the central idea because another reader who has the same ambition as one of us may apply this learning in their future. This may spark a global action. Our next assignment was to think of our responsibility as global citizens, basically how we should care for our planet. This is connected to the central idea because we are global citizens and we are trying to bring a change globally. Lastly, we made our projects on different types of climate change, such as water wastage, electricity wastage and food wastage. We made working models so that we could bring a change to the earth. This is connected to the central idea because we were bringing, trying to reverse the human activities from a bad perspective to a good one. Thank you. Hi, I am Aditya Shankar from Grade 5A. I am PYP Climate Change Exhibition Group. Action strategy for all of us. We can all try to reduce climate change by little little effort from our end. Little things that I may do, we all do, or that the whole world may do, can result in climate change. Against this, what action strategies we can take to help to prevent it a bit? Buying food in single-use plastic or paper bags and packaging is a bad thing we do in our daily life. Fruits, vegetables, grocery, snacks, everything comes packed in plastic or paper bags nowadays. We can't avoid them completely most of the time. And after one use, we just throw them away as dry waste. How can we act against this? By using reusable cloth bags which can be used again and again. The possible good impact will be that less use of paper means less trees are cut. And by avoiding single-use plastics, 
we can reduce generating more plastic waste. Landfills. Generally, we have to store, uh, face all of sorts of waste and use, and usually this ends up in the landfills. Landfills spoils the land quality and usually leaves it no plant growing there as the plastic contaminates the soil. This waste contaminates in our water bodies including lakes, rivers, ocean as well. The picture shows a whale which seems to have been killed from the amount of plastic it has eaten and the other picture shows a poor turtle unable to get out of an abundant fishing net it may starve and die if not able to get out in time we can easily separate waste and source itself into wet and dry waste daily this is usually collected by bvmp daily from our apartment one good method is to separate the waste at where it is generated means the source the wet waste usually goes for biogas production at biomass plants The dry waste like paper waste is used for making corrugated sheet. This is used for making cardboard carton. The plastic dry waste which means is the most dangerous is... Hi, my name is Mukesh and I'm going to be talking about how can we be a globally and responsible citizen on climate change. Other very important action strategies we can make. Meat and dairy far are the responsible for greenhouse gas emissions. Avoid meat and dairy products can help reduce global warming. Petrol and diesel, which are fossil fuels, when burned release a lot of greenhouse gases and this can lead to global warming using bicycles more when it's safe will use reduce of plastic i mean petrol and diesel as cars and other vehicles can be Avoided, you will stay healthy as well. Slide in. By stopping use of paper and more use of computer for storing data can also help reduce cutting wood trees. Hmm. Making more and more green buildings like a candle school, for example, can use uh, of sunlight and wind instead of electricity sunlight and wind does not cost money and is naturally available and is free
Hello, I'm going to tell you about my journey through the Climate Change PYP exhibition 2020. At the beginning of my exhibition, I was frightened and nervous. I was also put with students whom I was new to. I was happy with my topic, climate change, because I was going to learn something completely new. As time went by, I got used to the daily classes and my newfound friends. I was joyous to have my mentors, Miss Sharon and Mr. Satish. I learned so many things, I couldn't count them. This was because I had no knowledge of climate change before the exhibition. Here are some things that I learned. Causes of climate change, results of climate change, and much more. Before the exhibition, I looked at the planet as a mere living space. Now, I look at it as a splendid and amazing thing. I want to be part of saving the planet. When, when coronavirus invaded Bangalore, we were all put under lockdown. We had to work harder and put in more effort into the exhibition. This was a new experience because everything was online and we had to write, memorize and record lots and lots of big speeches. This was a big, great experience. We had online sessions every week with our mentors, Miss Sharon and Mr. Satish. But even so, they managed to make it so fun. I want to thank my parents, my mother, for mentally supporting me and keeping me positive throughout the exhibition. And my father for technically supporting me and helping me to make things and biomaterials. Lastly, I want to show my gratitude towards Miss Sharon and Mr. Satish for being so kind and patient throughout the ex PYP exhibition. Thank you. Hello everyone, I am Vishwateja and today I am going to talk about my journey throughout the exhibition. My topic is on climate change. I had a wonderful experience on learning new things about climate change. After I visited the Bellandur and Agara Lake, I gained a lot of knowledge. My teachers, Ms. Sharon and Shati sir, helped me come across my difficulties. Thank you. Hi, I'm Aditya Shankar from Grade 5 A PYP Climate Change Exhibition Group. So I am going to talk about which I like the climate change, what the work I did. It was a very wonderful journey for this exhibition. What I enjoyed is the most is the work done on blueprint for cleaning the lakes and also the action strategy for climate change. What I learned is the importance to be aware of climate change and its impact on all of us. We are all responsible for climate change happening now. My vision is about the planet is what we all work now very hard. To control climate change, so what we can do is we can all live in a clean and tidy way on this earth. We must be able to breathe fresh air and deep clean organic food. Hi all, I'm Devanchu from Grade 5B and today I'm going to tell you my journey about climate change PYP exhibition. Spread of flying in clear blue sky, fresh air while walking any time in the day, deer and giraffe dancing in the rain around big apartment. Tiger crossing the road with his cub and vehicles are waiting for them to cross the road. Hey wait, no no, I am not talking about any dream sequence here, but I am talking about the reality of present time. When we are locked inside our home and the climate is healing outside, outside with our planet, I started realizing 
all this during my exhibition journey on climate change. I learned so many new facts that as we humans never thought about water or food before throwing or wasting it. We simply throw garbage, plastic waste, chemical waste, savage earth and death and spoiling our water bodies. Extensive use of fossil fuel without caring about pollution and hampering ozone layer which in turn is hampering mother earth and even us human beings. Extensive waste of electricity by keeping the lights, fans, plugs, AC on when not in use. Why are we ignoring our natural light and air which is naturally available and dependent on electrical devices all the time? While researching more on the topic, I came to know about effects and consequences of all this on our climate and on our planet. Don't you think the time has come for us to bring drastic change in our lifestyle? I enjoyed my field trip with my group to Belindur and Agra Lake where they were my best memorable moment of my journey on exhibition but also a lesson, lesson that we need to start somewhere to save climate before it's too late. Our government, some NGO and some organization have already started working on the reformation on climate change. We need to act smart as a global citizen and take steps towards great reformations of climate change. Let's work together. Make our planet beautiful, where there will be clean air without pollution. Everything will be eco-friendly. Wastage, more zero wastage of food and water and greenery everywhere. I dream for better tomorrow. Will you? Hello, I'm Tavshi Matangi and today I'm going to tell you. Hello everybody, I am Mana from Grade 5C. My project is on saving electricity by using alternate sources. We can use solar and wind energy as an alternate source to, to, to non-renewable sources of energy. Both solar and wind energy are clean and, and do not harm the environment. We can employ smart technologies to save electricity. This will help minimize and save electricity use. In this project, I have made a sensor-based street light. Sensor-based street light. This helps to conserve electricity as the lights as the lights are turned on only when there is a need. Smart outdoor lighting solutions are in ever greater demand worldwide as a way to cut down significantly on energy costs and environmental pollution. Switching from traditional bulbs to LED is another example of reducing energy costs. Over the decade, it is estimated that at least 1 billion bulbs will be replaced with LED across the globe. In the model house, you will see a solar light tube on the roof which captures the, nat the natural light of the sun that and can il illuminate houses and workplace. Solar light tubes have been used in multiple countries in areas where there is no electricity or people cannot afford to pay electricity bills. Philippines and Brazil 
are some of the examples where this has been implemented. A solar panel has been installed on the roof of the house. Solar energy can be used to power home lighting and appliances. I have connected a small motor to the solar panel which will power the ceiling fan. In the model you will find a windmill. A windmill converts wind power into rotational energy by means of its sails blades. Windmills harness the power of the wind for purposes like grinding grain. Hello, my name is Neha from Grade 5B and I am going to show you my climate change project on water wastage. This project is called the Downspout Planter. The materials used are a recycled milk jug, a short PVC pipe and a tea connector pipe. The purpose of this project is to save more plants and give more oxygen to the planet and save lots of rainwater. This is how it works. You can bind your downspout planter pot to your plants using rope. This type of downspout planter pot saves more water because the tea connector pipe waters two plants. This mug of water impressionates rainwater. The water comes, uh, come, the rainwater goes from the milk jug down through your short PVC pipe and out through the tea connector into your two plants. An average human being wastes 80 to 100 gallons of water each day on household uses. If you use this downspot planter pot, you will save more water and it will help to the planet. The more people that make downspot planter pots and use them, the more change to the, to the earth and the closer we come to saving the planet. Thank you. Welcome to my one and only climate change journal. In this, I am going to be telling you my perspective, my experiences, and my thoughts, and my action plan. We are starting off with my perspective on the perspective my perspective on the consequences and causes. My perspective on the causes is that I feel like if there was any one person before who had stepped forward in the past when they saw only a little change in the earth and if that one person at least wanted to change it would have been awesome. My perspective on the consequences is that most of the times people should deserve these consequences because many people don't desire this planet to be good and also people who want to stop stop people who are working on climate change also deserve a consequence. My steps and actions. My first step to the action plan is research on people who are interested in climate change or pollution. Then interview a few people a few people by call or life. Three, list down the imbalances in effects. Four, make a video presentation on everything and record or record everything down. Make a video. Five, make a video presentation on my action plan. Six, lastly, make a PPT and put every single thing in that. So over here, I'm trying to interact with the public. So I think this is how it's related. Next, how will you share this message? I'm not going to take references or any platforms. I'm, I'm going to accept the support from my mentors and my teammates. I will share this message by making posters on climate change and sticking them around my society. And I can research on people who are interested in climate change and speak to them or give them more information about what's happening around. Lastly, what I have learned. 
To be honest, I've mostly learned a lot. Like a few examples are experiencing new things, learning more about effects and causes, to stand out for the poor and marine life. And lastly, I should say thanks to my mentors and to my uh, teammates and to my teachers who helped who helped me get a lot of knowledge that other people cannot get. That's it for my climate change journal. Hi, I'm Aditya Shankar, Grade 5A, PYP Climate Change Exhibition Group. Blueprint on Mechanism for Cleaning of Lakes. During my field trip in Grade 5 to Belandur Lake in Bangalore, I saw there's a lot of plastic and other waste being done to the lake and its sides. The idea came to me that if there is a low cost mechanism that can clean the waste, this can help us to rebuild the lakes and its surroundings. The mechanism. On the left hand side is the lake and and on the land, we park the garbage trucks. The two poles with a metal mesh welded to it is the main mechanism and its park in between the lake and the truck. The pole is operated with the help of AC motor. The power is drawn from the post and is through a control panel. The operation. When the motor is switched on, the mesh will tilt downwards and it and will go deep into the case. I mean lake. After few minutes, the motor is reversed into action, allowing the pole structure to come upwards. On its way back, it will collect the plastic waste and this will get dumped into the garbage truck. Using this structure, the plastic and other floating waste can easily be captured and loaded to the truck itself for recycling or disposal. After cleaning of the lake, the whole rain cycle can be utilized for refilling with clean water. Parts and jogging tracks can be made around it to, to attract people to keep it clean for the Hello everybody, today I'm going to talk to you about a drought. What is a drought? A drought forms due to lack of rain pollution and greenhouse gases. This is a model I made to represent climate change. Climate change is caused due to pollution and greenhouse gases. So how does green go, greenhouse gases form? Greenhouse gases form due to pollution. The pollution releases greenhouse gases to the atmosphere and because the atmosphere layer of greenhouse gases is thicker, it traps more heat and because more heat is there inside the atmosphere, it gives, uh, it gives more heat to the earth and droughts are formed. And plan more trees. Thank you. Hello, my name is Neha from Grade 5B and I'm going to tell you a poem on climate change written by me. Past and present. We felt the cool air and took a breath of the cool breeze. But it's all gone now. Do you disagree? The, the earth serves us everywhere we go. But now all because of us there's barely any snow. The the climate is changing and we must too. It is changing so we must too. Will we change? I don't have a clue. It's our responsibility to save the earth. 
So let's plant a tree, clean the sea, and join the others who will agree. But what do we do to join in? Let's take some time and think about it. He from us is a hit or miss. We've deceived the planet, and he can deceive us too. So let's take a stand, join hands, and solve the problem that's killing our land.